Welcome to part 3 of the Resbook training video. In this video we cover off very briefly the settings, rates, services and minimum stays. Let us start with the settings. Now I will very briefly go over the system settings and all of the other settings in here as we already have articles on this or videos as well. But the important places that I wish to highlight would be in your general settings. In this field here, you can enter in your email address to be able to receive all of these alerts. Another handy thing to also receive are copies of the email when it's sent to the guest. So do put in your email address if you wish to receive a confirmation or a notification of those emails. The next place that I would like to take you to would be your address and contact. Don't forget to fill in all of the details as well as supplying your latitude and longitude. Now, if you are not sure about this, simply go into www.latlong.net and type in your place name, click find, and you will be able to get these coordinates as shown over here. Copy them and paste it into your res book and just make sure that your website is also indicated in here before you save the changes. Once that is all sorted, scroll up and go into your accounting and financial. In this section here, you will need to state what your deposit is and when this deposit is due. Also supply your tax code if there is any. And if you do have any surcharges that you also state this in here. Please make sure that if you do accept any cards of the sort that you check these boxes and that you save the information at the bottom. Now scrolling back up, the next part to this would be your website integration. You can choose to configure the calendar as you wish. You can actually edit the colors of the calendar to suit those of your website. For more information, please find the article in the help and support link. Continuing onwards from there, if you go into your cancellation policy, we do have information about this as well. And when you enter in your cancellation policy, this will no doubt show up in your FIT calendar. Last but not least is to go into your booking forms and to click on a FIT form and just make sure that you have set your ResBook to instant confirmation to collect the credit card details and leave it as zero availability if you will eventually connect to the Res Online Channel Manager. Save the changes once you are done. Now that is it for the settings. It is very, very brief, but most of the information can be found if you click on the help and support link and go through all of those. So we won't go any further, but we will touch base now on your rates, your minimum stays, as well as your services. In this section here, it is really important to define what your rates are. This is so that people can place a booking online. To enter your rates, you simply need to select the room, click on a new rate period, and begin entering in your rates. Now you just gotta make sure that these rates cannot overlap one another. So be very careful as you are entering them. and save your rate period. Now if you return to your rates and you have a look, just make sure that these rate periods do not overlap one another. In this case, it looks like it has, so you can always start afresh by ticking it and deleting it. Another thing that you could do with these rates is to create a special. Again, all of the information is found in the help and support button. Now to set up your minimum stays, it has the same take as your rates in the fact that it is classified as a period. So if you are planning to have a minimum stay on a particular uh, period, just make sure that it coincides with your rates as well. Select when it starts and when it finishes, whether you want to allow a request and then select the days that it applies to and save it. Last but not least are your services. 
In the services module, you are able to list out all of the services or add-ons that comes with your accommodation. Let us begin by setting up a service and giving you an example. You can set up a tower hire and place in a description. Add in the price and include the pricing model, which is per person. You can choose to apply this on a daily basis. You can choose to include it in the rate uh, and we won't because this is on top of the rate. You can select no because it is not a requirement. You can choose to have this bookable on the form. You can also allow quantity selection just in case they do want to hire you know, two or three towels during the length of their stay. You can also choose who to charge to and add that. As soon as you've done that, you will see an exclamation mark next to it. It means that you will need to add the service to the rates. Now this is very, very important because if no rates exist in ResBook, you won't be able to sell the service. So check this if you wish to apply it to all of your um, rates. But if some of the services do not apply, then simply uncheck the box. Save when you are done. And close. Thank you for participating in part 3 of the ResBook training video. We hope that you have taken away something of value during this session. If you are a property manager and heavily rely on quotes and honor statements, please watch our next video which covers this.